How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocky Gal, and Fire Emblem Engage has been announced. Uh, that was exciting. It looks like the leaks were real. So, I wonder what else could be in store for us from those other leaks that were, um, uh, revealed. So, um, in any case, uh, let's go over this trailer. I'm not gonna do, like, a deep dive, like, other YouTubers, because I'm not that smart or detail-oriented. Um, but I'm just gonna go through the trailer and uh, just comment on things that I uh, noticed. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, this... Alright, hold on. Just, uh, quickly here. Um, it's cool to see, um, these older characters redesigned, almost. Well, not really redesigned, but, um, they just look a little different. Um, I like Marth, how he looks more like uh, Shadow Dragon in the Blade of Light design. That's pretty cool. Um, something most people have noticed was um, the Ike. This Ike is Brave Ike from Fire Emblem Heroes, so that seems a little strange. Um, yeah, are they pulling Ike from Heroes, who in and of itself was pulled from some like alternate universe Path of Radiance? I don't know. Um, now we have Luc and also Lucina here. She's wielding her bow, Thogn, Thogn, um, from her legendary alt from Heroes. Also, I think she has a mask on, so that is interesting. Um, I, I if they want her to use a bow, she should have just used a bow in Awakening, in my opinion. But um, I, it's cool to get the uh, uh, diversity. Otherwise, it's like like. 75% people using swords. Um, so, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyways, let's keep going. The continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy Four land realms around the middle. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war. Yeah, when I heard Fell Dragon, Fell Dragon I thought of Grima. I think most people thought of that. Heroes I don't think this is this. I don't think this is Grima at all. Them, this is just some other Fell Dragon. Nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating Rings. and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. Nice. In the years since, our world has been safe. I don't know about you guys, but the graphics in this game look a lot the better. The binding. Wind. And then there's this va like discount Validar kind of. Um. Then we have the uh, Roy and Crom fusion, or maybe Roy and Marth fusion. Um, here's this dragon, uh, Alir, this, uh, that dude here, um, this, and he's supposed to be, like, some sort of divine dragon of some sort, I believe. Um, this looks like a divine dragon to me, so maybe this is his uncle or something. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I'm just spitballing here. I don't really know, um, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's meeting them. He's using a, uh, I don't know, if I were to guess this is an iron sword but who knows who knows um here's a castle in the distance so um i guess this is still in the middle of the uh, holy land or whatever it's called here's a very <laughs> surprised looking face so um that's neat i guess i don't even know where i was going with that um here's a here's a girl i don't I don't know. Um, here's windmill. Windmill. It's farm. God, they didn't say like this is not gameplay. If this is actual gameplay, this looks really good. Like this is a real upgrade in the cutscene department from Three Houses. Like Three Houses was like like 10 frames per second. This is very smooth, very pretty. All right, fight scene. Um, wait, wait, hold. On. Let's go back uh, a couple frames. Come on. Going for mad time. Okay. Yeah, they got these warrior dudes fighting, like, our allies, I guess. Um, you can see here, they look almost like Risen, almost. Like, they they look really pale. Um, not necessarily saying pale people are dead people, but that's just, it's just an observation I'm making. Um, and he's just running through, you know? He doesn't, Alir doesn't really care. Oh, here's- oh, that's a nice face. Um, here is another dude. Um, he's got fire. 
This is a really good trailer analysis, guys. Am I right? Um, yeah, he's just jumping. He looks like a a more like he looks kind of like Sylvain if he had a stick up his ass, kind of, or maybe like a <clears throat> like a Sylvain and Kane. I can kind of see that. So yeah, we're just gonna go with that. And then here's this other girl. Um, I don't even. She's just twirling around a stick. That's kind of cool. Um, a little over the top, but whatever. Here is um. Everyone's calling him like the Dimitri lookalike. Um, he really does look like Dimitri. Um, I feel like they could have done something more with his design to make him stand out a little more. I mean, not saying that I don't like the design. I like it. It looks good, but it does look a lot like Dimitri, so, um, yeah, very cool though, and then here's the mage lady, um, I've heard some people say that it, or her clothes resembles the grammary class from Three Houses, um, I kind of think that too, also gives me some, like, witch vibes from Shadows of Valentia a little bit, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty cool, I guess. And a lot of people are theorizing that these four people that we just saw are like the um, like the heirs or princes and princesses or whatever of the other four countries that surround the Holy Land. So um, that might that that's kind of cool. I uh, hope there's not going to be some situation where you have to pick a side. I kind of just want one path, but we'll see, I guess. There's a ring. Oh, this part is awesome. You get to see Marth just get summoned. My god. Have you have you seen a more beautiful man before? I haven't. So, yeah. It was great to see Marth again. Nice. Fire Emblem. Engage! Um, wait, let's see the little girl, or see the girl before, I'm on, okay, yeah, so, I forgot what her name was, actually, I don't know anyone's name, I just know Alir's name, because he's the main protagonist guy, um, but yeah, honestly, the graphics look pretty good, I mean, this is a huge step up from Three Houses, um, uh, yeah, he's just looking really surprised. I guess this is like maybe the first chapter, I guess. First chapter when he awakens or something. I don't know. Um, that would be my guess. You're really okay, and then um, here's a girl again. And I guess, I'm going to guess that this dude on the left. Okay, well, I don't want to assume. Um, this person on the left is their sibling. They just look so similar. They also have the braid. That I, I can't imagine them not being related in some way. So. Wait, yeah. A thousand years. That's how long I've been asleep. So clearly that guy is a manikeet kind of thing, or some divine dragon thing. So this is gonna. We're getting like, oh, fuck. yeah, we're getting corn vibes of. Oh, I'm dragon. Um, but we'll have to see like how much dragon they are. Is it gonna be like an owl? Like, situation where they... Like, an owl from uh, the Binding Blade manga. Where they are actually very old. But, um... Look very young. Um, and in this case, he was asleep. Maybe he's gonna be like a tiki. Where he has to sleep for a long time. I don't know. Um, not sure if he'll get any sort of transformation similar to Corrin. The possibi possibilities are endless. Alright, here are the main baddies. They look kinda... I don't know. Is it just me? Do they look kinda silly with the uh, glowy... Glowing stuff around them? I don't know. It just looks kind of... Weird. Uh, but... It does... At least the graphics look good. Um, it looks like it's more cell shaded The graphics. Which I can appreciate because those graphics tend to age better over time. So... Yeah, it looks... It does look good. Um, these guys, I guess, are some brigands. I don't know if these guys are just normal brigand grunts that you fight, or if these are part of the military of the main baddie, but we're not sure yet. What are those? Okay, so here, get a closer look at these, um, people. So here's Alir, he's our, uh, lord, I guess. Um, and then here's this 
dude over here. He looks to be our mage. He has a, a red tome. Um, here is his, or their sister. Um, I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna say the sister. Um, I'm just gonna make some assumptions just because I don't know any better right now. So her sister seems to be a cleric. Um, like the main, like the early game cleric that you get. And this dude, I believe his name is Vander. He's like the only name at, that I've remembered other than Alir's. Um, he is going to probably be our Jagan. Um, it's been a while since we had a Jagan character. Uh, since like Gunter from Fates. Because we never really had a, a Jagan ever since. I mean, I guess you could think of Alm as kind of a Jagan. But not really. And there's no Jagan in um, Three Houses. So... Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, this is something that I really like. If I may. Yeah, look at that. I like how in the beginning... Oh my fuck. Uh, there was like some animation, um, where they like kind of enter battle. That is really cool. Um, it's not just like their portrait just standing, or just like being super static. So I really like that a lot. Um, and here's the battle UI. It looks pretty simple honestly like it doesn't seem like it resembles three houses too much um and i kind of like it it's pretty simple it looks uh, it's pleasing to the eyes um and it shows all the percentages that you need it shows like a battle forecast um yeah pretty nice also something that i really really like that they brought back are weapon like little weapon pictures again because before with three houses and even with fates which i don't understand why they did this they have like this generic like just a sword or tome picture um but even though in awakening they had like the proper like icons yeah that's the word i was looking for icons for each like weapon and then they just got rid of them for a while and now they're bringing it back well, I guess Shadows of Valentia had them, but um, still, it's great to see them being brought back in Engage. So, really like that a lot. Anyways, um, the battle mission looks pretty cool. You are a divine he, like, runs right into battle. I really like that a lot. His dodging is pretty cool, too. Okay, wait, hold on. God, the trailer moves so fast. Alright, one frame at a time. Don't want to miss something. Okay, cool. So here is... Okay, well, actually, one thing I'm going to complain about a little bit is that we are back to... We're continuing with the 3D, like, models on the map. Not a fan of that. I wish we could go back to these sprites. I, I, if it's something that they could toggle, like, you could toggle on and off, like, in the menu, then you're not going to hear me complaining. But I'm going to complain just a little bit and say that I wish... That we had, we went back to like the um, like the sprite-based icons because they are awesome. Um, at least we have them here, so I guess they're not totally gone. But still, would have liked it if they had mo had them on the map. Um, anyways, um, surprisingly, there's not that many actions that you can do. He's got attack, combat a foe. I don't see item. Um, there's obviously not going to be any trade or anything else because he's not standing next to anyone. Um, but no item. Maybe he doesn't have any items but you'd think like with he has an axe he could unequip it so um either this is like some main like some early game tutorial kind of level or i don't know maybe there are no items i don't think so you can see items here so yeah um the war. The okay okay here's a person whose name we know now um her name is Eddie, which to me almost sounds a lot like Eddie, like Edelgard's, like one of her nicknames. So every time they say Eddie, it just makes me think of Edelgard. Anyways, um, she's using an iron bow. Cool um, symbol here. Here's an iron sword um, going against Corrupted. Um, so I guess maybe it's not like the Risen type of people. It's like people who got corrupted by the Fell Dragon. I could believe that. Um, looks like it's going up against a, um, Pegasus Knight who's using swords, so that's interesting. Dragon. I 
feel like I can almost. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure this is the person's name. This person is Fram, and they are using iron body art. So, are we getting combat arts again, or is this like her weapon? It might be, right? Uh, is that the scroll there? Is she like a brawler? Um, yeah, so I'm not totally sure if this is a combat art or if this is actually a weapon because this isn't this symbol doesn't look any different from like a weapon symbol, so I don't know. And also, it's just this looks like standard fist combat to me, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna guess that this is actually a weapon similar to how like tomes. Are a weapon. You just gotta think of it as, oh, they're looking up the uh, secret martial art. It. I think it would make more sense if they were using gauntlets, but I think that's cool too. Okay, here is Lewis. He's getting iron lance against his iron sword. Um, he he broke this Pegasus knight. Not sure what that means exactly. Um, not sure if that's like. A uh, command you do, or if that's like part of his um, like abilities. Like people have skills. We've got skills still, so um, I don't know. Maybe this will like be a. F Maybe this will be similar to Fates, where like with the ninja, um, with the shurikens and knives, they weaken people afterwards. I could believe that. That, that makes sense to me, but I. <laughs> we just don't know enough yet. So here's Chloe. He. I guess this is our um pegasus knight early game pegasus knight maybe maybe even late game like this is a lot of damage um wow oh also i think the hammer looks really cool in this game just really like the design looks like since it's green like this is um like no color and this is green um that this is probably like one of those items that are dropped after they're defeated Uh, okay. The ring. Marth, right. Oh my god, wait, hold on. We gotta go back. Just a second. I don't know about you, but Marth standing there looking really cool. Like, I don't know, just the fact that he's just... He's more like a spirit, and he looks so, like, aloof. It looks so awesome. Um, anyways, you can see here... You see, here's some more stats. Um... Alir has it hurt. I can't speak. He is a dragon child class, I believe, and this is showing like dragon weakness. I, um, I'm thinking he has four move, which is ridiculously low. But it seems like we're trending towards like units with lower move. Like even in three houses, people started out with just like four move. So, um. <laughs> Not like back in the old days where people would have like six move um, unpromoted, but hey, you know, sometimes, you know, changes happen. Um, he has B ranks and swords. He's wielding the Liberation. I think that's how you pronounce it. Liberation? An iron sword and a vulnerary. This vulnerary looks kind of weird. Looks almost like a seashell to me, but that's cool. Um, uh, BLD. Not sure what that is. It almost. Here's a level, so that blade, an SP, we're getting SP now, um, not sure what that is about, he has 25 HP, which is kinda low, honestly, um, combat stats, physical attack, hit, avoid, crit, dodge, you know, the usual, um, and it looks like if he, if he's paired with Marth, we're not sure exactly if this is gonna be like, like an item that you give, similar to in Genealogy of the Holy War, where you have the stat boosting items that if they just hold, they get the bonuses, or if this is similar to like pair up in like Awakening and Fate. Um, still not totally sure. Also, not totally sure if like a leader can only like pair up with Marth. If that were the case, that would be a little lame because I would like to be able to mix and match, you know, like I would love for. A leader to like have some magic uh, potential with Celica. That would be really cool. Um, but we're not totally sure yet. It's not super clear on who can pair with whom yet. 
Um, but in any case, you can see that he's giving plus two to strength, dexterity, and speed. I guess <laughs> rip skill. No more skill now. Instead, we're getting dexterity. I I get it. Um, also, no uh, charm um, stat anymore. So I guess no more gambits, no more battalions. Okay. Uh, he has divinely inspiring. Seems kind of like too many words at once but sure uh that's his i guess it's a normal skill or like his uh, um uh his signature skill um he has two slots here i'm gonna guess you can unlock more over time um and then here are marth's skills i don't know if like he passes them down to a while they're like paired up or something he has perceptive is that a skill that's already in the game not totally sure break defenses so maybe this has something to do with the break thing that we saw earlier divine speed which is a type bonus not sure what that means and a lotus star rush you know it's kind of funny how marth is getting like lotus star class like he's just being associated with the lotus star even though in his original games he never promotes into anything he's just a lord um i kind of wish in the remakes they just gave him a, a uh, promotion but uh nope it's just, you only see it in, like, um, in, like, Fates or, like, in Cypher or something. So, um, it's cool that it's referenced here. And he's wielding the Rapier. I don't know if maybe he can, like, eventually get the Falchion or something. Really curious about how that's gonna work. Okay, yeah, look at that. So, they are just together. Um, and he, uh, here, hold on. The, uh, the perceptive thing just popped up all of a sudden. Is it moving? Come on. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, the perceptive is here. So I don't know what that means exactly. Maybe it mean, maybe it ensures the hits will always hit or something. Which is a moot point since he has 100% hit, but, um, okay. Okay, yeah, there was a break. Oh boy, Sigurd. Yeah. Okay, so this guy was Alfred. Um okay, yeah, let's take a look. He is a noble. Um Okay, so we're bringing that class back again. Um He's a noble that is a cavalry. So is this like a different like cavalier kind of thing? I don't know. He has B and lances. Um actually, are we going to have like any weapon rank like XP because I don't see any bars next to his uh, weapon rank here So maybe it's like similar to genealogy of holy war where you just kind of have a weapon rank and doesn't really change unless you promote I could believe that but I don't really know Um, he's getting one in blade. I don't know what that means exactly. He's getting one movement, which is really good Um, basically like equipable boots. So very nice um yeah, it's getting more hit, more crit. Um, probably because from the uh, dexterity here. And he's getting more defense, so... He has a skill called Self-Improver. Not sure what that means. Sigurd is using the Rider's Bane. Which, in my opinion, it looks really similar to the Sigurd's Lance item in um, Awakening. So that's really cool. Um, and then you see he has Cantor, which could be like a renamed Canto. Maybe that... That would actually make a lot of sense, in my opinion. Um, he has Gallop. I don't, I don't know what that means. Maybe that's what gives him the extra move. Um, and then Override, which might be what is coming up here. I'll show you here. Okay, maybe not that one. It is rather. Okay, well. But anyways, it was really cool to see that. Anyways, here is the um, like I guess a hub area that you get to um walk around in, similar to the monastery. I guess it's like the middle, like that middle kingdom, the holy lands or whatever. Um, you can see Marth is just, he's just standing around, you know, he's just hanging out. Um, you can see these cool, like, floating islands. Kind of gives me, like, Vala vibes. Or even, like, Skyward Swords from, like, Legend of Zelda. That's really cool. You can see a, like, an armory, looks like. Um, this, maybe it's like a church or something. I don't know. Um, you can see in the map here, um, this is really similar to, uh, three houses. You could go fishing, buy items, buy weapons, buy clothes. Which, I'm not sure if that's just 
a uh, cosmetic thing similar to Fates, where you can just buy clothes and it doesn't really do anything. Um, except for in my castle battles. Um, and they have the um, smith here. So yeah, they got the voice bubbles, so you know who to talk to. Quiet, I know. Uh, this looks like the, what, the item shop. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, it looks really cute. Shields, potions, vulneraries, probably um, other shit. That looks like a key, I think. Um, okay, these are animals. I don't know if this is like livestock for like food or something. I mean, I just see this one goat thing. Um, okay, wait, oh fuck. Here. Why? Okay, cool. So this is. Okay, this is the smith, it looks like. They are in front of this huge crystal thing. I don't fucking know. Um, the lady's name is Colney. Um, I hope she will actually be a playable unit and not just one of those NPCs that just kind of stick around in the shops and whatnot, because I think her design actually looks really cool. Um, if she's just an NPC, that would be kind of sad. It'd be cool to see, like, Units from your army actually run shops and stuff sometimes, because if it's just like the same person, it gets stale. I don't know, that would make sense to me. And they did that in like, uh, Fate. So, if they brought that back, that'd be really cool. Um. Okay, here is where you could buy clothes. Um, it's a little hard to read, but uh, it says here for the sunlit apron, clothes worn by fire nest commoners. Okay, I'm gonna guess Fire Nest is one of the nations or whatever. Often the first garment made by novice Fire Nest tailors. Children enjoy crafting the floral bows. Um, okay, well, yeah, I don't think this has, you don't, I don't see any stat boosting whatever, so I think this is just for fun. And I don't know if this is gonna necessarily affect, like, what their model will look like in battle, or if this is just gonna be, like, in their My Castle thing but um uh yeah but you can see there's clothes and there's glasses or maybe like a mask or whatever so that's that's neat i don't know why they didn't like let us change pants or whatever because some pants could be pretty cool like i don't want to have mismatched like like a top thing and a bottom thing you know but i don't know maybe it's a complete package when you do the clothes thing i don't know <laughs> okay here's alfred he is yeah, he's a noble, but he is, like, manning the station of, like, whatever this is. I just, I was just thinking I wanted to see you. Being around you never fails to brighten my day. Oh, well, isn't that just sweet? Oh, uh, this is like if Dimitri grew up actually happy, you know? If Dimitri didn't have a, sh a shitty life. Um, is that a piano? Or is that an organ? No, it's just a desk. Um, wait, let's go back a little bit. No, not you. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Is this like a, a restaurant? Like, you can see plates and stuff. I have no idea what is going on or whatever, but, um, yeah, this is, <laughs> it's happy Dimitri, guys. That's, I think that's what Alfred's going to be to me. He's a ha very happy Dimitri. Oh yeah, this sick cutscene with Alir and Marth. Okay, so this is like when they like merge together. So not totally sure if this is like just limited between Alir and Marth, for instance, or if Marth can like merge with literally anyone. I kind of hope he could merge with anyone. Although I kind of, I really doubt it to be honest. But it would be cool if they could. Um. And he's wielding the Mercurius. That's actually really cool. I would have expected the Falchion. Mercurius is something I believe more associated with Astrum. At this point, he wielded it in New Mystery of the Emblem and in uh, Heroes. So, uh, but it's cool to see more of the regalia show up. Yeah, that looks super cool. Um, and I don't know about you, but his outfit here, Alir and Marth, it kind of reminds me of the Groom Marth from, like, um, Heroes and Warriors, so that's really neat. Okay, so here's Alfred and Sigurd, so maybe, I mean, this is kind of sad to, to think, but maybe it is just each person 
like each of the uh, Fire Emblem like legacy characters, like Marth and Sigurd, can only pair with one person. That would make me really sad. Um, and it seems also unfair. Like, does that mean all the other characters don't get anything cool? Um, because I'm I'm sure there's gonna be more than 12 people in the cast, and if there's about like 12-ish rings, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of characters that are just not good. But maybe there's gonna be more characters than we think. Like. They, for three houses, they only showed Byleth, but I, I highly doubt we won't see, like, like Edelgard, Dimitri, and Claude, because they are so iconic that why would you not include them? So, um, I can imagine there being more. Maybe every character has their own, like, legacy character to pair up with that only they can do. So, um, if that's the case, that, that would be really interesting. Uh, anyways, here's Alfred and Sigurd. He's using the Rider's Bane. I guess not turfing. Oh yeah, that was like the piercing thing maybe? I'm not sure how that works, but he killed that guy. Like, during, like not even in battle it looked like. It was like through the map. So that's really interesting. Also this, I don't know what this is. It looks like a house. I don't think this is a shop really. So yeah, it's great to see like... Houses, shops, um, and whatnot on the maps again. It's been a while. Like, it... Actually, has it been since New Mystery of the Emblem? Since we've had a shop on a map? Because Awakening didn't have shops in the maps. Neither did Fates. Neither did... Yeah, neither did, um... Oh my god. Yeah, Shadows of Valentia or um, Three Houses, they didn't have shops on the map, so this is this is a throwback. So, okay, here's um, some person, and she's paired up with Celica. So, oh yeah, they get to do the really cool like Ragnarok thing. And it seems like she's just like teleporting everywhere. Oh, just I love the beginning of battle like animation where they just kind of pop up. That is so cool. I want. I love that. I want more of it. Give me some more of that. Um, anyways. <laughs> uh, enough of that. Um, you can see she's doing 36 damage, which is a lot. Um, 100% hit. Um, one hit knocking out this Aleutian soldier. Not sure what that is. Not sure what Aleutian really means. It almost sounds like illusion. So maybe these guys aren't, like, real humans, but I don't really know. Oh yeah, this warp Ragnarok thing seems really broken. Like, warping around in Fire Emblem games in general is super good. Uh, so that seems like it's going to be something really nice to have. And yeah, you can see this Selene's yeah, animation. Oh, Her animation with Ragnarok is really similar to um, the animation in Shadows of Valentia with Celica. So that's really cool. Also, is it just me or the battle's like really like fast paced? Like, okay, they might they might have skipped a little bit, but uh, anyways, here's some dude. Um, he might. A lot of people are thinking he might be um that red guy's uh, father from before. Um, I could definitely see this family resemblance uh, due to the red hair. Um, that's literally it. Um. I don't know if he's an enemy, an, an enemy, or what. He doesn't look very friendly right here, but uh, neither is Count Burgley sometimes, and he is an ally sometimes, so it's really hard to say, but, um, yeah. And, uh, here's some girl. Don't know who that is. She asked me to get oh, there was some old dude with a ring. Um, yeah, not sure what kind of ring that will be. Maybe it would be, like, Summoning Garnef or Validar or Leon or something. That would be actually really cool if we get to see old, like, villains. Like, I would love to see Leon and Formidus. That would be so cool. But, um, we'll have to see, I guess. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. Okay, all the rings. Does that mean there's, like, a lot of rings or just, like, the, the ones in the circle? Because I kind of want there to be a lot more than that. And here's the fell dragon. So this looks like I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like something you'd see towards the end of the game or something. So I don't know if this is a spoiler. Probably not though. 
yeah, it seems like Marth and Alir are interacting a lot. So maybe Marth really is just Alir's like main like Fire Emblem Legacy character pair up or whatever. But um, I kind of hope it's not the case. But it seems like that's what they're trying to like establish here. All right, here's a splash screen. Holy fuck, it looks so good. It's really colorful. Uh, I know some people think this kind of hurts their eyes, and I'll be honest, it doesn't. It's not exactly pleasant to my eyes either. But I still really like it a lot. Um, and Marth just looks so good there, man. Man, this is a lot of Marth love, and like you don't see any other like legacy, like unit here either. You don't see a Lin or or Roy or Ike or anything. It's it's just Marth. So, um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, yeah. Fire Emblem Engage. Not sure if I love the name, but... Oh yeah, it's coming out actually relatively soon, so really excited about that. Um, anyways, that's me going over, or just kind of talking about the trailer, um, having a closer look at it. I couldn't, like, have an initial reaction to it because I was at work when the trailer, um, came out. Believe me, I was, I was trying to hold in my excitement at work as much as I could. It was... Um, well, it was an interesting day, that's for sure. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, hanging out with me, uh, talking about the, uh, trailer. What do you guys think about it? I know a lot of people have mixed opinions. Some people really like the game and think it's going to be really cool. Some people think, uh, tooth the toothpaste lords look really stupid and the art style is stupid. Um, you know, everyone's opinion is valid. So, yeah, if if you want, um, let me know in the comments below what you think, because, um, either way, um, I value your, uh, opinions. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time!